Ladies and gentlemen, oftentimes when people think about spending less and living with less, they think about words like deprivation and scarcity. But let me tell you something, those people do not know what they're talking about. They're closed-minded people, people who have never questioned anything in their lives because spending less and living a life of less is actually about empowerment and abundance. There are so many ways that living a life of less and spending less empowers you to live an abundant life. There are so many benefits to living a more frugal, minimalist lifestyle. And so in this video, I want to try to convince you to want to stop spending money. And how am I going to do that? Well, by showing you five benefits of spending less and living a life of less. And when you see these benefits, it's really a no-brainer because you realize that spending less empowers you to live an abundant life. Now, the first benefit is that everything becomes cheaper. Now, although the title of this video is How to Want to Stop Spending Money, I'm not saying that you should stop spending money. That's honestly just a little algorithmic trick you learn after making 150 videos. What I'm saying is that you should stop spending money you don't have. Because there's nothing wrong with spending money. However, the problem is most people don't spend money. They spend debt. They spend money that they don't have, which makes everything cost a lot more. For example, if two people were to buy a TV for $1,000, where one paid in cash and the other in credit, the person who paid in credit would end up spending $116 more because of interest. Don't stop spending money. Just stop spending money you don't have because when you get in that common habit of buying everything on credit, as I mentioned in that example, your lifestyle ends up costing up to 12% more. However, when you get in that habit of only spending the money that you have, which ultimately results in spending less, everything becomes a lot cheaper because you cut out the interest from the equation. And when you compare those two people, the only difference between their lifestyles is patience. At the end of the day, they're both still getting the TV, but because that one person is patient, it ends up costing them a lot less. Now, the second benefit of spending less is you can live your life more freely. According to Ramsey Solutions, the average American has $22,000 of non-mortgage debt, which consists of student loans, auto loans, credit cards, and home equity. And what that basically means is that the average American owes a lot of money to a lot of different people. And when you owe money to a lot of people, it's hard to live your life freely. For example, if two people were thinking about moving to another state, one without debt and one with debt, they both have to consider themselves and their families. However, the one with debt would also have to consider the people they owe money to. The person with debt is held back a little bit more. They're unable to make their decisions as freely because they owe something to someone. However, when you get in the habit of only spending money you have, as I mentioned in that example, you can make your decisions a bit more freely because you don't owe anything to anybody. When you get in the habit of only spending money that you have, which as I said, naturally results to spending less money, you don't owe anything to anybody and you can make your decisions more freely because you don't have to consider all these people that you owe money to and you're free to live life how you want to live. And I think that freedom is worth more than any material possession. Now, the third benefit of spending less is you're not a pawn in someone else's game. One reason that I don't like to participate in consumer culture and why you shouldn't want to participate either is because the argument of consumerism is that you're broken and products can fix you. That you're not enough as it is and to become enough, you need to choose the right phone that matches your identity, get the car that suits your lifestyle, and buy a bunch of crap. And most people believe this. It is insane, ladies and gentlemen. It has a cult following. But what most people don't realize when they're trying to complete their identity with consumer products is that they're just a pawn in a game put on by some faceless corporations trying to drive profits for their greedy shareholders. 
And when you can see that, when you can see consumerism for what it is, you just naturally want to spend less because you realize that it's just a rich man's game with few winners. And who wants to be a pawn in some faceless corporation's game? Big sales and a stampede. Shoppers pushed and shoved their way through Black Friday today. One of the busiest shopping days of the year, of course. The mad dash into a Walmart store knocked shoppers to the ground near Grand Rapids, Michigan at 5 in the morning, despite several people. There's nothing wrong with buying stuff and having nice things, but there is something wrong with buying things, trying to fix you, because it is just a corporate game. See consumerism for what it is, and I can guarantee you that you will not only spend less money, but you will want to spend less money. Now, the fourth benefit of spending less is you can take more risks in life. I think that deep down inside, at least when you're young and unjaded, because society beats people down, we all have a dream to do something out of the ordinary. For example, a person in their 30s might dream about moving to New York City to be a stand-up comedian. And if that guy wants to pursue his dreams, the bridge that's gonna get him there is risk. You can achieve things out of the ordinary in life without taking a risk. And I think in order to take a risk in life, you need two things. Courage and some form of financial stability. Those are the pillars that hold up the bridge of risk. And if that guy who wants to be a stamped comedian in New York has debt, many financial obligations, and no savings, the pillar of financial stability gets cracked. It becomes this barrier that prevents him from taking that risk in life and pursuing something that he's interested in. However, if he has no debt, few financial obligations, and some savings, then along with courage, he can take a chance to pursue his dreams. Money allows you to take risks in life, and we should take risks in our life. That is what life is all about. And when you spend less and have more financial stability in life, you're able to take chances. You're able to pursue things that you want to pursue in life. All you need is courage, but money and courage are two completely different things. But when you spend less, money helps you get places rather than hold you back. Now, the final benefit of spending less is you don't have to work as hard. I like to look at money as this representation of time because that's what it is. We trade our time, usually in the form of labor, in exchange for money, usually in the form of a paycheck. And so if you make $20 an hour, that $20 represents one hour of your time. And I think it's important to make that connection because the more you spend, the more you'll need to make money, aka work more, but the less you spend, the more you'll have saved, and the less you'll have to work because you don't need as much money. And although you're probably still gonna have to work a 40-hour, nine-to-five job, when you spend less, you don't need to work extra hours, you can take extended breaks if you want to, and you have more of a say over your time. When you spend less, you might not have as many nice things, but you do have more control over your time. And there's no material possession that I can think of that is worth more than your time. And so we should strive to spend less because then we have more time to do the things that bring value in our lives. You don't have to stop spending money. Just stop spending money unintentionally and spend money intentionally. And when you do that, you naturally spend less. And with that, muchas gracias. Que tengo un buen día. Video 151. No vemos, chico.